counting rods are small bars, typically 3 to 14 centimeters long, that were used by mathematicians for calculation in ancient China, Japan, Korea, and Vietnam. They are placed either horizontally or vertically to represent any integer or rational number. The written forms based on them are called rod numerals. They are a true positional numeral system with digits for 1 to 9 and a blank for 0, from the Warring States period to the 16th century. History Counting rods were used by ancient Chinese for more than 2,000 years. In 1954, 40-odd counting rods of the Warring States period were found in Zhuodia Gongshan Chu Grave No. 15 in Changsha, Hunan. In 1973, archaeologists unearthed a number of wood scripts from a Han Dynasty tomb in Hubei. On one of the wooden scripts was written, This is one of the earliest examples of using counting rod numerals in writing. In 1976, a bundle of West Han counting rods made of bones was unearthed from Qianyang County in Shanxi. The use of counting rods must predate it, Lao Zhe said, a good calculative doesn't use counting rods. The Book of Han recorded, they calculate with bamboo, diameter 1 fen, length 6 kuns, arranged into a hexagonal bundle of 271 pieces. At first calculating rods were round in cross-section, but by the time of the Sui dynasty triangular rods were used to represent positive numbers and rectangular rods were used for negative numbers. After the abacus flourish, counting rods were abandoned except in Japan, where rod numerals developed into a symbolic notation for algebra, using counting rods. Counting rods represent digits by the number of rods, and the perpendicular rod represents five. To avoid confusion, vertical and horizontal forms are alternately used. Generally, vertical rod numbers are used for the position for the units, hundreds, ten thousands, etc., while horizontal rod numbers are used for the tens, thousands, hundred thousands, etc. Sun Tzu wrote that, one is vertical, ten is horizontal. Red rods represent positive numbers and black rods represent negative numbers. Ancient Chinese clearly understood negative numbers and zero, though they had no symbol for the latter. The nine chapters on the mathematical art, which was mainly composed in the first century CE, stated, subtract same signed numbers, add different signed numbers, subtract a positive number from zero to make a negative number, and subtract a negative number from zero to make a positive number. Later, a ghost stone was sometimes used to represent zero. This alternation of vertical and horizontal rod numeral form is very important to understanding written transcription of rod numerals on manuscripts correctly. For instance, in Lisheng Suanjin, 81 was transcribed as and 108 was transcribed as, it is clear that the latter clearly had a blank zero on the counting board, even though on the written transcription, there was no blank. In the same manuscript, 405 was transcribed as, with a blank space in between for obvious reasons, and could in no way be interpreted as, 45. In other words, transcribed rod numerals may not be positional, but on the counting board, they are positional, is an exact image of the counting rod number 405 on a tabletop or floor. Place value The value of a number depends on its physical position on the counting board. A 9 at the rightmost position on the board stands for 9. Moving the batch of rods representing 9 to the left one position gives 9, or 90. Shifting left again to the third position gives 9, or 900. Each time one shifts a number one position to the left, it is multiplied by 10. Each time one shifts a number one position to the right, it is divided by 10. This applies to single-digit numbers or multiple-digit numbers. Song Dynasty mathematician Jia Jian used handwritten Chinese decimal orders as rod numeral place value, as evident from a facsimile from a page of Yongol Encyclopedia. He arranged as he treated the Chinese order numbers as place value markers, and became place value decimal number. 
He then wrote the rod numerals according to their place value. In Japan, mathematicians put counting rods on a counting board, a sheet of cloth with grids, and used only vertical forms relying on the grids. An 18th-century Japanese mathematics book has a check accounting board diagram, with the order of magnitude symbols, examples, rod numerals. Rod numerals are a positional numeral system made from shapes of counting rods. Positive numbers are written as they are and the negative numbers are written with a slant bar at the last digit. The vertical bar in the horizontal form 6 to 9 are drawn shorter to have the same character height. A circle is used for zero. Many historians think it was imported from Indian numerals by Gautama Siddhar in 718, but some think it was created from the Chinese text Space Filler, and others think that the Indians acquired it from China, because it resembles a Confucian philosophical symbol for nothing. In the 13th century, Southern Song mathematicians changed digits for 4, 5, and 9 to reduce strokes. The new horizontal forms eventually transformed into Suzhou numerals. Japanese continued to use the traditional forms. Examples In Japan, Seiki Takakazu developed the rod numerals into symbolic notation for algebra and drastically improved Japanese mathematics. After his period, the positional numeral system using Chinese numeral characters was developed, and the rod numerals were used only for the plus and minus signs. Fractions A fraction was expressed with rod numerals as two rod numerals one on top of another. Rod calculus The method for using counting rods for mathematical calculation was called rod calculation or rod calculus. Rod calculus can be used for a wide range of calculations, including finding the value of pi, finding square roots, cube roots, or higher order roots, and solving a system of linear equations. As a result, the character is extended to connote the concept of planning in Chinese. For example, the science of using counting rods does not refer to counting rods, it means operational research. Before the introduction of written zero, there was no way to distinguish 10,007 and 107 in written forms except by inserting a bigger space between 1 and 7, and so rod numerals were used only for doing calculations with counting rods. Once written and zero came into play, the rod numerals had become independent, and their use indeed outlives the counting rods. After its replacement by abacus, one variation of horizontal rod numerals. The Suzho numerals is still in use for bookkeeping and in herbal medicine prescription in China, towns in some parts of the world. Unicode Unicode 5.0 includes counting rod numerals in their own block in the supplementary multilingual plane from U plus 1D360 to U plus 1D37F. The code points for the horizontal digits 1 to 9 are U plus 1 D360 to U plus 1 D368 and those for the vertical digits 1 to 9 are U plus 1 D369 to U plus 1 D371. The former are called unit digits and the latter are called tens digits, which is opposite of the convention described above. Zero should be represented by U plus 3007 and the negative sign should be represented by U plus 20E5, as these were recently added to the character set and since they are included in the SMP, font support may still be limited.